Thank you for joining me. Mike here. Dr. Zach has honored me by sending me the first photos of his group straight line laser test over water. None of this would be possible without Dr. Zach's friend, engineer, and inventor. This man has put together this laser test. He has orchestrated everything. He's taken uh, our suggestions and the Stephen Hawking video I sent him. And he's done a wonderful job. And this is the first test of its type flat earthers have had. I'm not going to give you his name, but for now, we're going to call him. What you're looking at is the Earth curvature rate chart, the same chart that the Stephen Hawking's video used. The number we're looking at is the five mile mark. Stephen Hawking's used the three mile mark. So here is the video that I was sent by someone who thought the test was actually real. The Stephen Hawking video aired by PBS. PBS has since taken the video down. It is no longer free to view. And uh, I sent this video to Dr. Zach and his friend, the engineer, and they did a test reproducing what was shown in this video. Let's watch. Stephen Hawking video. The lady sets the laser above the water at 3 feet 7 inches. No method was given to the audience on how this laser was kept level. Here Stephen Hawking explains how the laser should stay parallel to the boat in the water all the way to the three mile mark. Here the guy does a test mark at 500 feet out. We are not given the height of the laser above the water, however. This is the end of the test at three miles out. You can see the little green mark on top of the board. This they say or claim to prove that the earth is curved and that there is six feet of water curvature. We made the second measurement, and my whole world fell apart. My like world feet. fell apart yeah. because yeah. I thought it, it was a flat. Lot okay. Really? Get it? Huh? Just three miles away, the laser seems to have risen by six feet. But we know the beam is level. And so uh, how do you know the beam's the level? Is now six feet lower. To see a six-foot drop when everything looked flat to me was, was kind of mind-boggling. Definitely kind of shattered my perspective in about one second. It made me rethink what was going on. Okay, this production was made to debunk Flat Earth. That's why this video was made. Listen to his language. To see a six-feet drop when everything looked flat, it's mind-boggling. Like, when did the Earth become curved? Totally surprised to me. Perception is still it's a flat lake, but... So it's not a flat lake. It's not a flat lake. That was crazy. I was definitely blown away by the fact that the laser was that high off the water. Hey! Hey, Joy! What's up? We're back. So how was it? The laser was six feet up in the air. Okay, the girl that was in control of the laser comes over and says, how was it? And the guy says, well, the laser was six feet up in the air. They had radios at the beginning of the video, so obviously they were not in contact. They did not readjust the laser. The laser started three feet above the water, and they did not adjust the laser to see if it could hit the boat at the two-feet mark. This is a PSYOP. This is controlled propaganda. In fact, they never did the test, and none of them will ever win an Academy Award for acting. Let's get over to a real test done by real people, by real engineers. Okay, here is one of the photos I was sent. They are starting out with an extremely powerful laser. However, next week, an even more powerful laser will come into the possession. Now, they did... A straight line laser test approximately 50 centimeters above water towards shore. Uh, on the shore, I believe they were about two feet. And they traveled a distance of nine kilometers, that is uh, about 5.1 miles, out over water and shot this laser straight line across the water. Now, according to the Earth curvature chart, there's, that laser should pass through 16 feet of water because the Earth, they claim, is curved. That is the curvature rate, and that is what the Stephen Hawking's video was showing you at only three miles out. 
they showed you three miles out, six feet of curb, which is the exact curvature rate on the chart. Okay, I have no idea what that is, possibly from the set of Star Wars, but it's sitting on the lake where they were at. Here they are, two miles further than the Stephen Hawking's videos at five miles out or nine kilometers. The laser beam and water never intersect. There is no 16 feet of curvature. The earth is not curved. The laser beam hits the back of the boat about at the two foot mark in this photo here. This is the laser beam at five miles out or nine kilometers stretched over the water. The laser beam and water never intersect. Okay, please go and subscribe to Dr. Zach's channel by clicking here. Do not miss the full production video test with the new laser and the new equipment. This is just a pretest to test things, to test locations. But this test at five miles out or nine kilometers prove, in fact, that the water is not curved, the earth has no curvature, and this fully debunks the Stephen Hawking video. This is Mike. For more, please like and subscribe. God bless.